Hello people. For instance, it's like a really hot evening. It's an, it's an evening. I thought I'd come out for a little evening walk. At nine o'clock in the evening. It's, well, it's just starting to get dark. It's a bit thundery looking up in the sky. A little bit thundery looking. But had a few little spots of rain, but not much. Hardly enough to work, call it rain, really. So I thought I'd just come for like a little, little evening walk. The area is called Ports Creek, just like north of Portsmouth. A bit, bit further along from where I've walked before, a bit further east, about a mile further east. The railway bridge there. Yeah. Railway bridge in the distance there, as you can see. And there's a footbridge there, so they just cross the water if you want. Tide's right out at the moment, very low tide. I'm trying to work out as far as it goes there, there's a lot of mud, mud in the estuary there. That's the railway bridge. With that low tide you can actually walk underneath, which is what I'm going to do in a minute. Right, a bit further along there. There's a subway there goes back to uh, back to the housing area. <coughs> you can walk out along here, you can get under the railway bridge at low tide. You can't high tide because it all floods over completely. Time it right. Half a bike in the water. Only about three foot high it is, you've got to crouch right down. See so right underneath right underneath the train tracks there. Slippery too, so you've got to be careful. There you are, the railway bridge. A bit of graffiti. You can see the wall come down, but it's still like slippery. Grunge. Years ago, I'm, I haven't been along here for about, oh, I haven't walked along here for years, 10 years, 15 years, or well, it's only a couple of miles from where I live. In those woods there used to be a World War II pillbox, it's got completely overgrown. 10 years ago you could see it and walk in it, but it's, it's, it's underneath all those bushes now so you can't get in there. This has got well overgrown from what it used to be. Used to be quite open. Used to be quite open all through here, but it's not quite a quite a wild meadow through here. Now. 
See, not the undergrowth's that like, undergrowth's that like waist high. I've been along here for about ten years. But they well let this get overgrown. I think years ago councils used to like keep all the undergrowth trimmed back, but all the cost cutting and that they don't bother anymore. They just let it just let it get overgrown. Used to be quite a wide footpath at one time. Well overblown there. Used to be able to ride a bike through it at one time, could just about I suppose. I mean looks looks it looks like you're in the middle of that nowhere but just over there where that lamppost is, that's, a, that's the A27, like a six lane, six lane dual carriageway. bit more water there because it's getting right in the distance there so it goes out to the sea over there right in the distance go a bit further yeah, come on the sticky net will through here oh, it's got well over the ground isn't it What nice plants and wild plants and things growing along here, I must say now. This is actually all pretty green considering it's not rained for oh, it's got to be about a month since it rained here in the south of England at least. It's not been really I mean it's been up to about 86, 88 degrees today. It's still warm, it's still really warm and humid now. Oh, it's an in interesting plant life along here. Got some pieces, I'm not sure what they are, but. I was to say, this is like, looks like you're out in the middle of nowhere. It's only like just up there where that bridge is, and lamppost. That's like the A27 six lane dual carriageway. It's only like 10 feet away from the road. <laughs> but you probably hear the traffic. I don't know how far I'm going to go because this goes on for about a mile. Yeah, the water, water widens out a bit there. Alright, we're just coming up to 
Eastern Road and A27 road junction. There's like a massive road junction here. It's where the, where the footpath sort of ends. You've got, the, got the water over there. That's the Eastern Road, like the main road out of Portsmouth. Massive roundabout there. I'm going to try and cross this road now because I don't want to walk all the way back through. Don't know all the way back through the bushes there because it's nearly it looks lighter than it is. It looks quite light on the camera, but it's quite getting quite dark now, so I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and cross cross the road just there and walk back right through the through the houses. That's halfway across. Across the other side now. Made it across. It's not. It's not too much traffic about. It's Sunday evening, but it's not too much traffic about. Right, back on the. Back on that paved side now. So I'm going to walk back home like, through the houses. Right, let's see, we're back, back to civilization now. It's a car dealership there. Petrol station over there. Holiday in across there. 